Hi everyone. Imagine you are in a dark room and you switch on the lights at 10 a.m. At what time will you see the light? Obviously at 10 a.m. isn't it? Now what that means is the speed of light which is distance covered by time table given by the symbol c must be infinite because it has to cover some distance let's say 1 meter but the time taken from the bulb to your eyes is zero because light seems to reach instantly right you switched on the bulb at 10 o'clock and the light reaches your eyes at 10 o'clock right and therefore the time taken is zero and something divided by zero is infinite and this is what the early scientists thought that the speed of light is actually infinite so it reaches from one place to another place instantly now in the year 1676 an astronomer named romer shows that speed of light is actually finite and not infinite but how does he do that this video is about that now romer was observing the moon of jupiter particularly the moon named io and he was looking at the eclipses of the moon as it revolves around jupiter now what do i mean by eclipses of the moon now imagine you are romer on earth and this is jupiter and this is the moon of jupiter io now as it revolves around jupiter notice that right now you can see the moon and as it goes behind the moon it is not visible right so this is what i mean by eclipse basically we say the moon has gone into the shadow of jupiter and therefore it is not Now Romer was trying to time this eclipse. He was trying to see the times when the moon disappears and then when it again reappears. Then again disappears, and then again reappears. So he was timing these events. Now focus on this diagram. This is Jupiter. This is the moon of Jupiter revolving around it. This is sun and this is earth revolving around sun. Now this is the shadow of Jupiter and every time the moon enters the shadow it will not be visible from earth and every time it comes out of the shadow it will be visible from earth right Now let's say you are waiting from here the moon to come out of the shadow that okay? you are going to now see the moon okay you don't see the moon here you don't see the moon you don't see the moon and then you see the moon right So you are waiting for the rise of the moon, just like we wait for sunrise. So you are waiting for this moon to rise, to come out of the shadow. So let's say when the moon just reaches here, you, it will be visible to you, right? Light will reach this way, and that moment is let's say 8 p.m. Okay, 8 p.m. Let's say Monday, Monday 8 p.m. Okay. Now the time period of Io, which is time taken by Io to complete one revolution, was known to be forty-two and half hours. But for the sake of simplicity, I will take it as forty-eight hours, which will be two days, right? So in two days' time, Io will be again back here, starting from this moment. Remember, this was the moment, Monday 8 p.m. when you saw the moon rise here from Earth. Okay. Now, in two days' time, Io is back here, and by that time, Earth will be somewhere here, isn't it? Now, light has to travel this distance from Io to reach Earth. so that you can see the moon rise right so now in two days time this will become wednesday 8 pm right so in wednesday 8 pm i will be here now if light is traveling with infinite speed which they thought at that time then light will reach here instantly as it reached here so therefore romer should see the moon rise again at what time 8 pm okay but he found that there was a slight delay he did not see the second sunrise at 
the expected time which was 8 pm after two days provided i assume it took two days for io to reach back here so the second moon rise was expected to be at wednesday 8 pm but it was found that it got delayed and let's say it was found to be at 8 pm past 10 seconds so there was a delay of 10 seconds between the first moon rise and the second moon rise okay similarly the third moon rise was expected to be at thursday 8 pm if light reaches instantly now the earth may be somewhere here but instead it was found to be 8 pm plus 20 seconds so now the delay became even more so there was this peculiar delay that was happening for every sunrise which was measured by rumor as earth was going away from jupiter right now why this delay was happening well at that moment it was not clear because at that moment they thought light travels instantly so 8 pm when io is here you will see io at 8 pm and after two days time when again 8 pm comes when io will be here back again it will reach instantly so you should see the second moon rise again at 8 pm but there was a delay of 10 seconds right so why this delay happened then rumor understood that the speed of light cannot be infinite so the delay happened because after one revolution when earth reaches here the light has to travel you can see this much extra distance isn't it and to travel that extra distance it took some time and why it took time because it is not traveling with infinite speed if it was traveling with infinite speed it would not have taken any time but since it took time to cover this extra distance it is very clear that light has a finite speed now romer did this kind of measurements of the moon io for five to six years and he found that by the time earth goes from the position when it is nearest to jupiter to the position when it is farthest from jupiter from here to here he found that the delay in the moon rise is now 22 minutes now why this delay happens because light from io to reach here and then to reach here to reach here it has to travel this much extra distance and to travel that extra distance it will take some extra time and that is the delay which Romer measured so the speed of light would be the extra distance covered which would be this distance right now this distance between earth and sun is what we write as one astronomical unit one au so this distance would be 2 au divided by the time taken which is 22 minutes which is one astronomical unit by 11 so this is clearly not infinite right now at that time the best estimate of one astronomical unit the distance between earth and sun was found to be 140 million kilometer and using this value the speed of light which i can write c will be equal to one astronomical unit is 140 million means 10 power 6 kilometer i can write 10 power 3 right in meters and this 11 into minute if i convert into six, uh, seconds will be 11 into 60 seconds right and if you do the calculations you will get 2.1 into 10 power 8 meters per second as the speed of light now it is believed that Roma never did this calculation because he did not trust this value of one astronomical unit so it was actually Huygen who did this calculation part but remember it was Romer who proved to the world that light has a finite speed.